So when it comes to sending out invoices, especially in Zoho, we want to make this a seamless process. That's why we want to send out quotes and estimates to, you know, customers that we feel that's going to make a payment with a credit card or potentially tr turn over the transaction faster, not like sending regular proposals we do to try to do bids. But for the money we try to collect quick, we go into Zoho invoice, Zoho invoice, and then we go into, if the customer is not there, we got to create the customer. So we're going to see if the homeboy is here. So we're going to create the customer. So we call him an individual. Mr. Martin Arias on the email. So we just put all this information here, email address, phone number, make sure you check these off, tax exempt, just put capital project, New York State, so that way it doesn't charge them tax. Everything due on receipt, price list, you can leave the same. Always check this off, allow customer to pay via their bank account and give them access to the portal. So you slide over here to get to the address. So you got to add a plus and then a one and take out these dashes so that way the number could work. You copy the address or the information over and you click save. So I'm going to show you how to create the estimate. And then I'm going to send it off to the client. And I have also inside Zoho, when there's a, a customer that's late or a gentle payment reminder, you're going to get the email. The email is going to come to you. It's going to say, hey, follow up with clients. So that way you'll know what clients haven't paid yet. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to create a new estimate because he wants a camera system. And we're going to call this camera system upgrade. We're going to have this expire. Let's say give him a week, two weeks. If there's a name, you can put that. I usually put the same thing I'm putting here, right here in the subject line. So now here, we have to add the material. So now we got to go to the website and then we just select the product. We're going to right click on this and we're going to save the image as whatever that, save that to your hard drive, right? Then we're going to copy this, copy all of this. We're going to go back to Zoho. We're going to add, we're just going to paste that in there. Then we're going to add the new item. So what I like to do is just take out some of this information information something like that and then we just call this nvr8 give it a skew number any kind of just make up something so now we've uploaded that image so we have to put pieces because for each piece is going to be 10.99.88 so here the description then i'll recopy all of that information i just copied non-taxable uh you know service item we could put and click save you could actually put any exemption reason i just don't want to be filling shit out that's all so next we know we need wire so like i said i only want one line item i don't want a bunch of lines showing him how much things are so we're going to go to the calculator then we're going to go 95 times 16 and that's going to be 1520 so then we're going to add 1520 plus 10 9 8 88 1520 plus 10 99 88 that's how much the nvr the camera system costs so that's 21 26 19 88 so we're just going to change this 26 19 88 so now that changed that. So now we didn't incorporate the wire, nor did we incorporate the connectors, right? So the wire and the connectors, we just got to find a price for the wire and the connectors, the Cat 5 cable. So ADI, 134.99. So 134.99 plus 35. So that's 182.24. Go back to Zoho. And then we add to 26.19.88 plus 182.24. So that's 28.02.12. Easy crimps are like $50. So we can add another $50. So 28.52.12. So this is how much it would cost to do the job. Now, for some people, we could put cameras, you know, like wire, connectors, labor. We could do that. But I don't want to break it up. I want him to know for this whole entire thing, this is how much it's going to cost you for both of us to come in and do it. So this is all pretty much set. All we got to do here now is just make sure we tell him that he has to pay 50% right here so right here in the customer note uh we let them know that he has to pay a 50 percent deposit and then we check this off so when we click save and send it's going to ask us to sign it then it's going to ask us do we want to email it we say yes and just email it out but zoho will now track the progress you know what i mean for this for this invoice automatically we don't have to keep following up and then it's going to send us an alert so that way we could just be like oh now we need to follow up you know what i'm saying so that's how we keep these things going so we save and send we're going to approve and sign we're going to enable the signature then all we do Actually, I'm going to put, we're going to CC instead of info. I'm going to just put you. I'm going to always forward you to all these estimates and whatnot. Or you can just forward them to yourself.
so. And then we send it. Now it's sent. So he will get it on his side, approve it. Then we will come back and then convert it into an invoice. He'll make the payment. We'll order the equipment. Go there and do the work. Bang, bang, bang. So now he has this invoice. That's how you create a customer, create an invoice or estimate inside of Zoho invoice. So this is what we're going to be using when we're sending out uh, payments to clients to get quick payments. Our reoccurring customers, customers who's paying monthly, biweekly, stuff like that. People who we collecting money on a daily basis with, not big projects. All right, so that's how we're using this. So if you have any questions, let me know.